All right, so now we're going to do the next exercise in uh, Burton's number theory book that says that if a is an odd integer, then 24 divides a times a squared minus 1. And again, we're going to recall that um, this theorem that we've proven before, that if a divides c and b divides c, with the GCD of a and b being equal to 1, then a times b divides c. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is... Um, we're going to try to show that uh, 3 divides this and 8 divides this. So uh, we want to show that uh, 3 divides um, a times a squared minus 1 and um, 8 divides a times a squared minus 1 because we know uh, the GCD of 3 and 8 is equal to 1. So if we have all these three things together, this implies that um, 8 times, or 3 times 8, doesn't matter, uh, 3 times 8 um, divides a times a squared minus 1, or, right, uh, 24 divides a times a squared minus 1. So this is the plan. So first I'm going to do, I'm going to show that 3 divides a times a squared minus 1. And the way I'm going to do that, so let's go ahead and start this proof. So I want to show that 3 divides a times a squared minus 1. So um, using the division algorithm, I'm going to um, develop this into three cases. So the first case is I'm going to let a be equal to 3k, where k is some integer. So of course I'm using the division algorithm where a is equal to 3 uh, times an integer plus r right, where r is strictly between uh, 0 less than or equal to r, and r is less than 3, right? So I'm using the division algorithm here, and a has, um, this basically takes all the forms that a could be where a is an integer, right? So let's go ahead and erase that. Okay, so uh, let's see. So this implies that a times a squared minus 1 is equal to um, 3k times 3k squared minus 1, which is equal to, so obviously we can just take out a 3 right here, so this will be 3 times k times, we can just say this is 9k squared minus 1, but we already have uh, a times a squared minus 1 is 3 times an integer, so this means, uh, this means 3 divides a times a squared minus 1 when it's of the form uh, 3 times an integer. Now I have to do two more cases in this case because, um, of course, this could be odd or even, right? Um, 3k plus 1. So for case 2, we're going to let a be equal to 3k plus 1, which can also be odd or even, right? So, as you can see, uh, with this form, when we have a is equal to 3 times an integer plus um, r, right, the remainder, um, we have to do all the cases for this one because it could be odd or even. But this odd integer will come into play when we try to prove that 8 divides a times a squared minus 1. Anyway, so let's go ahead. So this implies that a times a squared minus 1 is equal to 3k plus 1 times 3k plus 1 squared minus 1. And then this is equal to 3k plus 1. And then this will be 9k squared uh, plus 6k plus uh, 1 and then minus 1. And this will be uh, 3k plus 1. 9k squared plus 6k, and the ones cancel, right? So of course we can take a three out of this, so this will be three times 3k plus one, and then this will be 3k squared plus 2k, and this is of course, we have a times a squared minus one is equal to three times an integer, so this implies three divides a times a squared minus one when it's of the form uh, 3 times k plus 1. Now the last case, 
right? The last case for uh, these types of numbers in these forms, case three, we're gonna have a be equal to three k plus two, where of course k is some integer, right? All right, so this implies that, let me go up a little bit. This implies that a times a squared minus one is equal to 3k plus 2 times 3k plus 2 squared minus 1. Um, this is equal to 3k plus 2. And then this will be 9k squared um, plus, so 12k plus 4 uh, minus 1, right? So this will be 3k plus 2. And then this will be 9k squared plus 12k plus 3. And of course, I can factor out a 3 from here. So this will be 3 times 3k plus 2 um, times 3k squared plus 4k plus 1. And then we have, let me scoot it up a little, a times a squared minus 1 is 3 times an integer. So this means that three divides a times a squared minus one in all cases, right? So now we know for a fact that three does divide this number, right? Where a is an odd integer. Well, in this case, it didn't matter if a was odd or even. But now trying to show that eight divides it, we're gonna look at, um, so now we wanna show that eight divides it and we're gonna look at a so um, we're gonna look at case one for this case, where we're trying to show that eight divides um, a times a squared minus one, where a is an odd integer. The first case will be, let's say a is equal to uh, four q plus one. So we know, notice we didn't do four q because no matter what the q would be, oh, of course where q is some integer, right? No matter what the Q would be, it would be um, even, right? Because four times an integer is always gonna be even, and we know A is um, odd, right? So actually for this one, for when we're trying to show that eight divides A times A squared minus one, we only have to do the case where A is equal to four times an integer plus one, and the case where it's four times an integer plus three. Because if we were to do four times an integer plus two, well, we would know that would be even, and we're not interested when A is even, we're interested when it's odd, right? So this breaks up the cases a little bit better. So let's see. So this implies that, let's see, um, A times A squared minus one is equal to four Q plus one times four Q plus one squared minus one. Um, okay, so now this will just be four Q plus one. And then this will be uh, 16 Q plus eight Q plus one minus one. And then this will be four Q plus one times Six, oh, 16 Q squared, right? Yeah, four Q times Q, four Q is 16 Q squared. So this would be 16 Q squared um, plus eight Q. And of course I can take an eight out of this, right? So this would be equal to eight times four Q plus one um, times two Q squared plus Q. Now we have a times a squared minus one is equal to a times an integer. So this means that a divides a times a squared minus one. All right, now we just have to do the final case when a is of the form four times an integer plus the remainder, right? So case two, we'll have it when a is equal to four times some integer plus uh, three, right? Where Q is some integer, right? So this implies that A times A squared minus one is equal to four Q plus three 
times 4q plus 3 squared uh, minus 1, which is equal to uh, 4q plus 3. And then this will be 16q squared, right? And then this will be plus 24q uh, plus 9 minus 1. This will be equal to 4q plus 3 times 16q squared plus 24q plus 8. And of course, I can take an 8 out of this, right? So this would be equal to 4q plus 3 times, oh, I need to take out an 8, right? Let me just do that here. So equals 8, 4q plus 3, and this will be 2q squared uh, plus uh, 3q plus 1. And then this is, of course, uh, this is, of course, an integer. So we have a times a squared minus 1 is equal to 8 times an integer. So this implies that 8 divides a times a squared minus 1. So whenever a is um, odd, right? So now we have, we now have, we, um, oh, I guess in all cases where um, a is odd, right? So let me go down a little bit. So this means we have that um, 3 divides a times a squared minus 1. We have that 8 divides a times a squared minus 1. And we have that, that the GCD of 3 and 8 is equal to 1. So by our theorem above, right, by this theorem here, if we have a divides c and b divides c and the GCD of a and b is 1, then a times b divides c. So this means that uh, 3 times 8, uh, 3 times 8 divides a times a squared minus 1, or better yet, that 24 divides a times a squared minus 1. And that's what we set out to do.